Hey y'all, Thomas Jenkins and Fuzzy Fiddler, and this marks my 100th YouTube upload since 2007. As you can see, my channel's getting a facelift, and before we get started, I'd like to talk a little bit about the direction that this channel's headed in. This is going to become a place for tutorials and reviews, not only for violin, but for six and seven string violin as well. I wanna share my approach with you, which is a little different because I'm mostly self-taught on violin and I don't have a music degree. As a matter of fact, I dropped out three times. I decided that French horn wasn't my path so much as violin. So my goal is to teach you to teach yourself. I firmly believe in a strong fundamental base when learning any musical instrument. So let's cut to the chase. How do you approach a six or seven or even 10 string violin? The first thought I had was to look at, for example, a six string violin as three separate violins. So F, C, G, D, C, G, D, A, and G, D, A, E. For the first little while, what I would recommend is to stick with two octave scale positions on each set of four strings, kind of like this. We'll talk a little more in depth about this as we go along. Another exercise, this one will help develop the bow hand, is to play in single and double stops along each string along the arc of the bridge like this. These two tips alone should give you a pretty good heads up on getting the left and right hand individually adjusted to the new neck radius. Y'all, if you're getting any value from this video, please hit that little thumb thing and subscribe so you can catch new regular updates that I know are gonna help you in your musical journey. Until next time, I'm Thomas Jenkins and thank you so much for watching. All right.